question 19. This one states, write equations in standard form of the six types of quadric surfaces. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, dive right into this. So solution, the equations in standard form of the six types of quadric surfaces are listed below. So you have the ellipsoid right here. Um, so we have this, uh, the, set up this equation. Notice it's, uh, it's, it's the x squared plus y squared plus z squared. All of them on the left, left side of the equation, then you have equals to one. All the traces are ellipses. And if a, b, and c are equal, then the ellipsoid is a sphere. It's like that. And the cone, so you have a cone like here. This is instead of uh, this right here, this would be on the other side. And you'll get rid of the one. So that's the difference between there. And you get this uh, cone like that. And horizontal traces are ellipses. If you cut them uh, horizontally like that, you're going to get ellipses and so on. And uh, vertical ones, uh, vertical traces in the planes, x equals to k and y equals to k are hyperbolas. If k is not equal to zero, but are pairs of lines, if k equals zero, if k equals i, zero, you get line like that and this. Uh, otherwise, the vertical traces will be uh, these uh, hyperbolas. So that's a cone. And then you also have the elliptic paraboloid right here. Uh, this one here is similar to this one, except instead of the squared, you get rid of this power there. Yeah, so then this is uh, one, of the, one of the ones, uh, the vertical one has a power of one. So horizontal traces are ellipses, vertical uh, traces are parabolas, as elliptic paraboloid, uh, yes, yeah, so you have, uh, 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 this is ellipse this way, then you have parabolas going up a vertical. And the variable raised to the first power indicates the axis of the paraboloid. So this is the, uh, the x one, I mean the z one is this one. If, it's, if it was the x, it would be open, opening up this way. And if, if it's the y opens up that way, the, the x would be open up this way. Yeah, so yes, epic, epic stuff there. Oops. Like that. All right, just erase this. And the next one is hyperboloid of one sheet. So you'll have uh, all these right here, x squared. Uh, it looks like the ellipse, but then this would be a negative sign. So instead of the plus, if it's a negative, instead of the ellipse like that, if you have a negative, it becomes hyperboloid of one sheet. It's like an inverted uh, ellipse. That would be cool. Uh, and then horizontal traces are ellipses. Vertical traces are, are hyperbolas. You can see this up and down. And the axis of symmetry corresponds to the variable whose coefficient is negative. So this one would be opening up like that. So that's the tube in there. Looks like a power plant. All right, so the hyperbolo, uh, hyperbolic paraboloid. So this one's an interesting one. It looks like, uh, so it's a parabola like this, but then on the uh, horizontal side, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it is actually the hyperbolas. So you, if you draw a plane like this, you're gonna have hyperbolas this way and this way, and the other one. So uh, this is similar to uh, this one here, similar to elliptic paraboloids that uh, over C, power of one, but instead of this plus, we have a negative. So we have a negative there. So then uh, horizontal traces are hyperbolas. Vertical traces are parabolas. All the vertical ones is, is it only goes up once like that. All the vertical um, traces are like that. V are uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so horizontal are uh, parabolas. Vertical are parabolas. Uh, uh, horizontal are hyperbolas. Vertical are parabolas. They all go up like that, and uh, etc. Or or downwards, depending on uh, where the actually this one's going up like that. I think that they all go up like that and then a vertical on this side you also have a yeah uh, actually this one's going down like that this one's going up and then these ones going down if you cut it like this this goes down then if you cut it this way these ones go up interesting and the case where c is less than zero is illustrated yeah this is c is less than zero if it was greater i think it would be inverted or yeah i think it would be inverted and it's going further so hyperboloid of two sheets if you go back to the hyperboloid of one sheet, like it's like this, you have a negative there, and then you have two plus, but then I think it's the other way around. You get you get negative, negative, and then this becomes a plus. Like that. Yeah, so this one's negative, negative, and then this is plus. So horizontal traces in Z equals to K are, are ellipses. If you do a Z equals to K, you get an ellipse, like that. Um, are ellipses if k is greater than zero or k is less than uh yeah I mean, k is greater than c or k is less than c and vertical traces are hyperbolas so vertical cut them like this you're gonna get a this and a this and the two minus signs indicate two sheets yes interesting so that's yes, two sheets like that and summary here's a summary of all of them so there's ellipsoid elliptic paraboloid this is the um what is that the hyperbolic paraboloid you got the cone Hyperboloid of one sheet, hyperboloid of two sheets.